it, when is there anything to note about dealing with the city, whether it be the permit process, uh, point of sale inspections? For someone who doesn't know Evanston, what are what are some of those gotchas you need to be aware of? Yeah, I'm so glad you brought this up, Tom. So I was actually talking with a few Evanston investors earlier today, and I think the biggest thing to know is that if you have or haven't invested in Chicago or you've been a landlord in Chicago, you know it's a very tenant friendly uh, landlord tenant ordinance, and I would say that's true of Evanston, if even more so. Um, They are very meticulous about following up on building violations. And uh, it really cuts both ways because as a landlord, yes, you need to be on top of your building and making sure that you're pulling permits to do the work. You're keeping your building in good working order and treating your tenants well per the ordinance. Uh, But also your neighbors are held to a higher standard as well. So you know, the buildings are better maintained. You're not seeing dilapidated real estate that's bringing down the value of the neighborhood. So, um, you know, they do a really good job of staying on top of landlords, but I think it also helps bolster, you know, the, the great neighborhoods. So 